Let's do a self-exploration meditation on I am that chapter 20. Recognize the knowers and all will be known. In this self-exploration, we will be using three Sanskrit terms. Vyakti. Vyakti is the person. Vyakta. Vyakta means the manifest field of knowingness or the witnessing field or the witness of the person. Avyakta. The unmanifest supreme. So we will be using the three Sanskrit terms Vyakti, Vyakta and Avyakta. Let's sit comfortably and let's bring up a thought. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. That which is being known is simply a subtle thought. By whom is it being known? Who is the knower? Is it being known by the person, the Vyakti? Or are both the subtle thought and the gross person being known by something else? If both are known objects, then who is the knower of both the subtle thought and the gross person? Can you find a knower there? Notice that there is an infinite field of knowingness in which the known subtle finite thought and the known gross finite person have arisen. Notice that the known subtle finite thought and the known gross finite person keep dissolving and re-emerging out of this infinite field of knowingness. This infinite field of knowingness itself knows both.
it is the noor. Now turn the attention towards the infinite field of knowingness. Let the known fade away. Let the finite subtle thought fade away. Let the finite gross person fade away. Turn inwards towards the infinite field of knowingness and abide there. This field of knowingness has a subtle manifested form. Therefore, it is called the Vyakta. Vyakta means that which is manifest. This subtle manifested form is known as the infinite sense of I am. Notice that there is something beyond that knows the subtlety of the field of knowingness. Who knows that the field of knowingness is very subtle? Who knows that the sense of I am has arisen or dissolved? That which knows this field of knowingness itself is the unknown. It is an infinitude of infinities. It cannot be an object of knowing. It is the subject itself. You cannot see it. You can only be. Simply be. Simply be. It is the supreme silence that will know itself. You simply be. Just be.
if you slip from the supreme silence, it means that you are attempting to know the supreme. You cannot know it. It cannot be an object of knowing. Do not try to do. Attempting to know is a doing. The Supreme can be revealed only in non-doership. Drop the lust to know the Supreme. Simply be. If you slip from the supreme silence again and get consumed and entangled in thought, recognize that you've taken the stand of the vyakti, the person. Withdraw from the person. Withdraw from these words. Step beyond to the witnessing field, the field of knowingness. Now turn in towards the field of knowingness until it dissolves too. When the Vyakta turns towards the Vyakta, it dissolves and what remains is the Avyakta. When the field of knowingness turns towards itself, it dissolves to what remains is the background of the Supreme. The Vyakta is the bridge between the Vyakti and the 
avyakta. The manifest field of knowingness is a bridge between the person and the unmanifest supreme. Let the Vyakta dissolve. Let silence ensue. In the silence, recognize all the knowers. When all the knowers are recognized, all will be known. Recognize the knowers and all will be known. 